um, it is my great honor to introduce our first speaker, um, Ronald Griffiths, who will open this conference with a keynote lecture on the Johns Hopkins Psilocybin Research Program, which he heads. And I think um, this program encompasses many of the directions that psychedelic research is and has been taken for the last a couple of years, or even since the beginning of uh, research into psychedelics. I think there would be few people more suited to open this conference. Studies are conducted in a comfortable living room-like uh, environment. Volunteers come into our unit at uh, 8 in the morning, swallow a capsule. There are two guides or monitors present throughout the session. This is Bill Richards, incidentally, who you'll hear from later. The volunteers encouraged to lay on the couch, use uh, eye mask and headphones through which they listen to a program of, of uh, music, and they're encouraged to direct their attention inward on their inner experience. If fear or anxiety arise, then the, the guides or the monitors are there to provide reassurance. So not surprisingly, under these conditions, when you give psilocybin, a classic hallucinogen, we get perceptual changes like visual illusions, greater emotionality like increased sense of joy or peace or contentedness, and less frequently, but it does indeed occur, uh, fear and anxiety. There are also uh, cognitive uh, changes, sense of meaning, sometimes suspiciousness emerges. Um, but. Uh, to me, the most interesting effect, and one that we've pursued and, and really I want to highlight throughout this presentation, is that in most volunteers, psilocybin under these conditions produced large increases on self-rated questionnaires designed to measure naturally occurring mystical type experiences. These are experiences reported by religious figures throughout the ages. And this this slide just shows from the dose effect study nice dose related increases on the mystical experience questionnaire uh, when this questionnaire is given immediately post session. Now, by the end of the psilocybin session, the acute effects of psilocybin have totally resolved. It's a relatively short acting compound. The feature that's so interesting is that the memory of these experiences endure. So this is now one month after sessions, and we're asking people to do various ratings. And you can see that about 80% say it's in the top five most personally meaningful experiences of their lives, comparing it to the birth of a child or death of a parent. Over 83% are saying it's in the top most spiritually significant experiences of their life. 94% increased sense of well-being or life satisfaction, moderately or very much. About 90% endorse positive behavior changes. So that's one month. So people are saying of these experiences, they have an increased sense of personal authenticity, playfulness, creativity, mental flexibility, self-confidence, increased life meaning, appreciation, richness, positive values, and trust. And likewise, uh, the positive changes in emotion occur, and people are endorsing here increased love and open-heartedness, inner peace, joy, inspiration, decreased sadness and depressed mood, anxiety, anger, and guilt. And this, incidentally, the decreased depression and anxiety relates directly to the, some of the therapeutic applications.